Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on Monique, Kim Kardashian, and Byron Allen. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. We gonna call this segment Camila and Nala, yes or no. And when it comes to Monique, block, BTN, do you support her, yes or no? Motherfuck no, you did. The reason I can't stand for Monique is because I don't know where the fuck Monique stand. You witnessing the Rebel Network, do any of y'all know where the fuck Monique stand? Because all I keep hearing is women of color. If you talking about black women, say black women. Because don't nobody else speak for black women but black men and women. God damn it. I don't never see no Latinos including us. I don't see no Asians. No fucking body else includes you. So you say black men and women. How about you stand up for them? So by you keep saying women of color, I'm like looking at you different already. And then what else she said? Uh, Women don't get equal pay. So now I really got to think, oh. Monique out here, you trying to latch on to that old women's movement shit, see? It's about women then. It ain't about being black, that ain't the reason. It's about your gender then. See, you gotta pick or choose one. You can't be on the fence with this shit. You understand what I'm saying? And then you gonna talk about Amy Schumer and what's her face, Roseanne, is your sister's. When you call Roseanne your sister, I damn near died. Like, I couldn't believe, because I fuck with Monique, y'all. Understand, is Monique funny than a motherfucker to me? But Roseanne, big racist ass, is your motherfucking sister? And this girl right here, show her picture. Amy Schulman, she can't hold a fucking candle to Monique. But Netflix broke her the fuck off, you dig? Broke her off. So why you think that is? It ain't because of your gender. It's because you're fucking black. And if you black, say you're black. It ain't because of no gender then Jada Pinkett won't come out with her stupid ass talking about she stand with her and shit because it's a uh the industry is against women of color y'all and I'm reading it it's a the industry is against women of color and poor white women that's what Jada Pinkett said nigga you witnessing a rebel network women of color and poor white women just include every fucking body because guess what you know damn well black men don't get paid equal to white men so why the fuck you ain't include them oh because it's a gender thing huh? either your gender is either it's a fucking gender issue or a motherfucking uh black issue god damn it so since i can't figure that shit out i can't fuck with you then you're gonna compare yourself to dave Chappelle and chris rock you funny as fuck but not on a level so if you're gonna name motherfuckers name the people who own your uh level god damn it you feel me but some people, goddammit, because y'all know us, we block talk, break it all the way down. Some people got a problem with Sydney and shit, you did. Now, let me be clear. The only problem I have with Sydney is that crying shit, y'all. What the fuck is you crying for, dawg? First of all, why is you allowing your wife, your wife to fucking cry as well? You supposed to tell her to stand on it. Don't let them see you sweat. Even if you want to cry, you could cry on my motherfucking shoulder once we get home. You understand me? And I'll cry with you as far as he go because you a man. You know not to be crying, letting them see you sweat and shit, man. Letting them see you be down and out. Oh man, we, we need this money, you know? And some people got a problem with the man because of a fucking open relationship that they have. Yeah, y'all the ones who support uh man on beast, bestiality, woman on beast, man on man, woman on woman, fucking beauty and the beast. The same people who watch that and participate in all of that got a problem with them having an open marriage, though. Steady trying to bring that up. You witnessing a fucking rebel network, you did. In case you don't know where you at, goddamn it, you probably don't. But yet y'all a Christian nation. But be supporting all kind of shit. And let's be clear, I'm not against fucking homosexuality or no shit like that before you cry and press unsubscribe. Understand, I have a military stance on homosexuality. That's that right now, we are at motherfucking war. I don't have time to ask you who you sleeping with. We at war. We accepting everybody. If you stand on it and you stand for it, I stand with you, goddammit. I don't give a fuck. We can handle all that other bullshit out later, you dig? That's internal. But right now, we on the front motherfucking line, you dig? So I don't give a fuck about uh him and her having a fucking open relationship. You understand what I'm saying? So the reason I can't stand for her, because I don't know who the fuck she's standing with. Is you with that women's movement? 
movement bullshit, goddamn it? Or is it with black people? Because black men, we ain't never fucking been misogynistic. And y'all know that bullshit, goddamn it. We always, uh, hell queen of Sheba and all kind of shit, goddamn it. Or saw our set, we always had a queen, goddamn it. Fuck wrong with y'all, goddamn it. Even when people trying to make a joke about like the conscious black man, what they say? Oh, how you doing, my benevolent, my beautiful Nubian sister? Would you tap that white girl? See, even when they trying to, you know, create a fucking joke, goddamn it, they still saying what we'll say. My Nubian queen, you know, they'll still say some shit like that, which means black, the black man ain't never been fucking misogynistic, goddamn it, regardless of who the fuck y'all try to take the jail or arrest today, goddamn it. Now, let's go to the next slide. You're witnessing the Rebel Network, Kim Kardashian, y'all. Kim Moses Kardashian because people seem to think she's doing such a good deed. You did? She helping free the little niggas, huh? Free the slaves. Look at her. I got y'all, nigga. Look at him with his hand all on the motherfucking thing. Please, y'all. That mean, uh, y'all, say, bro, if a fucking celebrity visits somebody and that helps them get out of prison, don't that mean that they wasn't guilty all alone or that the prison system should have let them out all alone if anything she is proof uh, she is proof of a faulty ass American judicial system god damn it because all of a sudden since a fucking celebrity show up god damn it who trying to benefit from releasing your ass and we'll get to it god damn it since she show up let release them release people and shit and i ain't about to say his name i don't give a fuck what his name is you know you know what i'm saying oh it's huddle she releasing him from the shackles of oppression huh political fucking posturing you really think that she give a fuck about black people no she need the vote of the simple nigga god damn it Either her or her fucking husband while it's gonna be running for office in a minute. Show his silly ass. Look. Look. Either her or her fucking husband gonna be running for office. This is called political posturing. You already know him and Jay-Z basically having a contest with each other. Whatever one do, the other gotta do. So now he a reverend, you dig? And trying to one day he gonna hop in this political arena, believe that. Or he gonna have Kim do the political shit you understand look at the angles then when you go to the other side with Jay-Z the fake activist and shit you know he trying to be the one who run for office while he got Beyonce to be his Michelle Obama she had kids for and all of that cause I don't see Beyonce you know saying the motherfucking thing either you been real quiet you understand me but Kim Kardashian and them they gonna need the vote of the simple nigga that's why she freeing niggas from the shackles of oppression, huh? They need the vote of the simple nigga. You know the one who gonna say, she got him out. She got him out, man. We got to vote for her. Stupid ass. She got him out because she wants simple motherfuckers like you to fucking sit up there and vote for her at a later date, God damn it. Oh, she always date black women. I mean, she always date black men. She must love us. No, she don't love you, God damn it. You know what, who the fuck she dating? She dating wealth. She not dating a black man. A black man, that's like the bonus for her, you know? The uh, you know, just the uh, the physical ability of the black man, if you know what I'm saying, that's a bonus. But by him having a fucking wealth and they could suck you dry of your motherfucking essence, that's the real fucking. That's what she really dating. Goddamn it, if y'all understand me clearly, goddamn it, that's what she dating. She not just dating black men. You know what they do? They suck the essence from every last one of them dudes. And when they, whenever they leave these dudes, these dudes seem to be insane after they leave them. Like. Pay attention to them like they'll fall off either they'll just fall off the fucking globe or they not even the same no more they like damn they're insane zombies and shit after they fucking finish fucking with them god damn it and don't forget y'all you witnessing the rebel network she stole the image of tupac and biggie without they mom and them fucking consent you dig and fucking put it on shirts and shit talking about she ain't no your stupid ass out of here but y'all falling for this political posture and shit with her and this crazy ass nigga Kanye is you fucking crazy out here and don't think oh you just don't agree with him because he on the right y'all know one thing I don't give a fuck about the right or the left both of them are in the same party god damn it fuck wrong with y'all you witnessing the rebel network god damn it recognize fucking game with these dumb ass dudes and understand it's a difference between dating black men and wealthy black men you know why 
Because wealthy black men maintain the motherfucking status quo. Do y'all ever see them funneling money down to organizations? Do you see them saying, hey, here's black media. Let's sneak and get him some money, you know? Funnel some money down. Oh, you know how they making it rain, making it rain. Do you see them rappers saying, man, let me funnel some money down? Like y'all probably doing the crack game and all of that. Why y'all ain't trying to funnel some, man, let's try to get this Hitler organization. Man, we know who really running shit, you dig? Let's try to throw some money down there on the slip. We be on um, supplying the rebels and shit while acting like we cooning, you know. Why they ain't doing that, goddammit? All them actors, y'all, when you're trying to get an interview for them. How, how come it's $10,000 for you and zero for Vlad and shit? Y'all understand what I'm saying? How come they don't just go to uh, town business in them and be like, hey, I'll do your interview? Why, they, why the athletes don't just go to Ticket TV and underground black networks and say, hey, I'll do an interview for you? I'll do, oh, yeah, I got you. Oh, you, yeah, I know you. Yeah. Do y'all see them doing that? So what that tell you about the wealthy black man? They maintain the status quo. And sometimes they even give a bonus to the status quo by reproducing with the fucking person. That way uh, the white people get the double whammy. They gonna kill this dumb ass off. They gonna get that wealth. Plus they get to uh, survive on the planet a little bit more because you know the heroin wiping them the fuck out. So even if it's a mixed person, all they gotta do is, you know, uh, get him uh, consumed into being one of them goddamn it assimilate him goddamn it you know what i'm saying and they still win it's the win-win goddamn it just like they did michael jackson god yeah that's a good example killed his dumb ass not a welt going to some white churn that we know damn well them churn ain't for michael jackson god damn it come on now y'all know motherfucking well right i think about this do y'all ever see these dumb ass athletes directly donate to the hood do they directly I ain't talking about Boys and girls Boys My bad Boys and girls club of America And all of that I ain't talking about that bullshit Or white women's breast cancer The breast cancer and a pink ribbon I ain't talking about that I'm talking about coming to your hood Your neighborhood Where the fuck you dwell at And really give out shit to the, the kids around your neighborhood directly God damn it Not through no third party and all of this bullshit God damn it directly to us no you don't see it you don't you fucking don't but one thing i'm not about to do so that's a no camila and i'll no on this bullshit we not falling for uh kim kardashian acting like she fucking moses freeing the slave niggas or some bullshit while really political posturing political posturing like a motherfucker now let's get to the next idiot while you witness a rebel network you dig next this fucking asshole Byron Allen, y'all. Look at this dude. Look at him. See, bro, these fucking fakes, they really, really make me mad. Y'all just don't be knowing. Now, him, he talking about, oh, they trying to mess with civil rights and all of that. Look, trying to get us riled up or something for him. Get your fake ass out of here, Byron Allen. But let's stay on task, y'all. As y'all all know, Byron Allen is suing Comcast because they don't want to give him a seat at the table. God damn it. And if you ask me, God damn it, well, if you ask him, he going to say, oh, they don't want to give us a seat at the table. God damn it. Now it's us, huh? It's us once you trying to get some bullshit. But if you look at the shows the stupid motherfucker produced, you wouldn't even think he was one of us with them terrible ass shows he out here producing. God damn it it's us now y'all notice whenever these fucking celebrities is in peril it's us what michael jackson said all i want to say is that they don't really care about us oh it's us now when you was going to Kansas city it wasn't about us and shit you ain't give a fuck about us when you was spinning around and getting that money and shit now it's about us because you done found out that sony taking all your money and shit and tommy matol is the devil oh since you found out and shit now they don't really care about us huh it's us now and shit god damn it or monique they don't want to pay us oh it's us again huh whenever the no y'all it's time for us to stop that bullshit now whenever these fake ass celebrities in trouble they back to saying us but when you ask one of these coon ass rappers is they responsible or is they role model i ain't no role model i just be making my music i ain't tell nobody nothing about xanax if you don't want pop xanax don't pop xanax i ain't your role model i ain't nothing to you i can't relate what that old boy said uh ASAP Rock, yo, whoever the fuck he is, goddammit. 
Boy simply said, I can't relate. I don't give a fuck about no Trayvon or none of that bullshit. That's just how most of them be, goddammit. it. Most of your favorite rappers don't give a fuck about your ass and they be quiet as hell. Not saying a motherfucking thing. So it's it's us now every time they in trouble, goddammit. it. But it wasn't us when they was portraying us in a bad light. If you're an actor or if you're a rapper portraying us in a bad light. Or if you're an athlete just shutting up and dribbling. Shut up and dribble just like that white lady told me. LeBron stupid ass man shut up and dribble that's what we pay you for nigga she was talking to all of y'all shut up and play your sport nigga cause that's what we pay you to do entertain us motherfucker that's what she did god damn it and it's not just for them three that I named before y'all say you hating with your old dumb ass he hate he hate don't even know how to respond to shit some of y'all be in my fucking comments don't even know how to debate your point be shutting y'all stupid ass down I'm thinking about making a fucking video call comment section slaughter again god damn it but let's let's stay on task y'all be unforgiving to these stupid ass celebrities who think they can deceive you all this fucking time as soon as they want a couple of more dollars or a seat at the table it ain't like he gonna give a fuck about us they won't come back and say us us god damn it think about this first of all if these fake ass celebrities is keeping secrets like being raped the aka the uh casting couch or being stereotyped and shit i mean typecast what they call where you always a pimp a maid or some bullshit <coughs> excuse me y'all if y'all kept all of that a secret if y'all kept all that a secret what else are you keeping a motherfucking secret god damn it the people been paying y'all under what they pay other people now y'all just not talking about it they been making you be maids pimps gangsters and still making y'all make the most dumb comedic relief ass movies y'all don't say a motherfucking thing what else are y'all hiding but when you're in trouble oh, it's us man I need y'all to stand with me and boycott y'all let's do this and we against this oh it's we now, huh? now that y'all ain't getting the checks and shit is we now huh? again goddamn what else are they hiding y'all like think about it what do these celebrities give us to make them think that we got to stand with them whenever they trying to break into some industry. Oh, this the fashion industry keeping us out, y'all. That's how the, they'll be, you know, listen, they keeping us out, y'all. No, they keeping your black ass out, nigga. You ain't never, it's, most of these rappers don't even sign a whole group and shit. It just be them. While 16 other niggas know how to rap and they don't even want to put them on. What have they given us? Let's stick to that. What have they given us, y'all? Not a motherfucking thing except for fucking excuses and fucked up portrayals. God damn it. If you're an athlete, you shut your ass up and dribble. We know y'all. You stick to basketball. Oh, I ain't kneeling. I ain't doing shit. Oh, no. That ain't, the, that ain't for the workplace. I can't be out here doing no shit like that. If you're a motherfucking uh, actor, you sitting up there being a the pimp, the maid, shooting the nigga Denzel just to get the Oscar and shit. God damn it. Or a maid, like what her name? The woman, Alfred Wood and them always old maid, slave and shit. What the fuck else are y'all hiding? Do y'all know who killed Michael Jackson? You witnessing a rebel network. Do y'all know who killed Whitney Houston? You witnessing a rebel network, Ray J. Y'all understand that bullshit? What else are they hiding? You don't think they know our direct fucking, uh, our direct culprits until this fuck? Y'all don't think they know who really pushing the buttons on this bullshit to put it a better way? Yeah, they know, but they shutting the fuck up. But let's stick to Byron Allen, lame ass. Look at the shows he have, y'all. Terrible shows. You witnessing the Rebel Network, Comics Unleashed. That's probably the best show he ever had, and that's not because of him. That's because of the the uh, guests that he had on there that probably said one or two fucking jokes that was funny. Real people. I went to go look that bullshit up because I don't know what the fuck it was. And see how you see that picture um of real people? All of them white people and one black person? That's how it is every time. That mean that black person is the token. Every episode they'll have a token black or some bullshit, but they real people, some whack ass show. That fucking show down there, that entertaining shit is just like some old E News bullshit. That uh first family bullshit, the worst fucking show on the planet Earth. Y'all know who they got playing the president on that show? The first family, Red. 
you know, the one who got knocked out by Debo, that's who the fucking president on there. Do I need to even say more about that show? Deep, the nigga who Debo knocked out is the fucking president on the show. He the president. And the other one, uh, and look what kind of trivial shit happens on the show, just to let y'all know that I watched it. His wife, the first lady, who was played by uh, Bernie Mac, old lady on Bernie Mac show. My bad, I don't know her name. If you want that CNN details type shit, take your ass to CNN. But she was on that motherfucker, and she was jealous of him because he had to have a meeting with the, the French uh, foreign minister and shit, and it was an attractive uh, female. His la- his wife, the first wife or whatever, she walking around uh, insecure and shit. What are you doing having a meeting with her? She's too attractive. To, to be a leader of a nation and take up all your time ignorant ass shit or the, the uh show next to it what's the name of that shit mr box office that show is even worse than the fucking show the first family mr box office is the most terrible shit put on tv god damn it first of all i think it's starring what's his fucking name i forgot that fool name I th- is he the one who married to tisha campbell no he the other one god damn it, from how to be a player y'all know who i'm talking about the star of how to be a player and shit his fucking ass is a star on there who have to go teach a high school because he did nothing but crimes and shit and he gotta uh he gotta finish off his uh what they call it community service as being a fucking high school teacher so basically, it's another dumbass black man who got money, was fucking around in the Hollywood industry, and now he got to do fucking uh, community service. Terrible show, y'all. And look what else he got. Justice with Judith or some old bullshit ass show with another fucking fake judge or even whack ass motherfucking Gloria Allred, y'all. He the one is responsible for that show. We the people with Gloria Allred, the ambulance chase chaser, goddammit. Are you fucking serious, y'all? So it's no, goddamn it, to Camila and Nala on all these topics. I wonder if we are all we'll get a yes one day maybe you did so i think i'm gonna stick with this one and try to squeeze in nothing but topics that way i could get like hit more topics for y'all god damn it with the yeah or no type bullshit but it's straight up a no for all of these dirty motherfuckers right here dumb ass celebrities bro don't give us a motherfucking thing but always run into us when they can't get what they want out of entertainment and shit when they can't get they want when they can't get what they want from dominant society you won't run back and say it's us we we together now and all of that bullshit but when you got your check you was gone god damn it once again y'all holler at me